we've just crossed over the border into Suffolk, pulled up to a nice quiet little park spot. The plan is cook up some dinner, spend the night in the car, and then we're right by the river, so go for a cold water dip first thing in the morning. Swap over to the trusty head torch. Basic chicken fajitas for dinner. Nice and easy. Well, it's not actually as quiet as I thought it was going to be. Right next to the road there, it seems pretty busy. And these houses, I thought they were a bit further up the road, but they are quite close. So I'm going to keep my volume down. Don't want to annoy anyone. Oh no, that's a problem. There we go, that's better. Bet you can feel your eyes stinging from that. <laughs> that's a lot of chicken and onions for one person and a few wraps. So tonight looks like it's going to be hovering around sort of minus one, minus two. This isn't really getting much of a flame, and I don't know why. It's locked in, plenty of gas. Why is that not burning very well? Magic blow always works, doesn't it? Not very good, is it? Any ideas? Let's have a quick Google. It's all lined up properly. Don't know why it's not working. There we go, a bit better. Now I know if you're gonna say about sort of carbon monoxide poison and all that sort of stuff, but I've got this big back door open whilst cooking. And I've also got this side door open a little bit as well, just so it can escape out the back there as well. So it should be all good. This is so annoying, it literally keeps on dying out. Stokes it up and you give it a shake. I want some food. This is gonna be lukewarm. It's a nice choice to go on the raw chicken. Come on, ready up. Oh, bloody hell. The shaking thing definitely works, but as you can see, it's not the most practical thing to do. I'm starting to think it's more of a temperature issue because I know the jet boil canisters struggle when it gets sort of below freezing. So maybe it's the same with these types of stoves as well. I think I'm just gonna have to risk it now, to be honest. Oh, it's very borderline. Oh, that is not good. What do you reckon? Looks more like fish and chicken. Please someone advise me if this is not the correct thing to do, but it seems to be working. Oh, oh bloody hell. Oh, that's not good. Well, it'll help you cook it, actually. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. Nope. Pack the bloody normal. Oh, we just <laughs> flame grilled tonight, baby. So close. <laughs> it's not good to do that inside my car where I'm about to sleep. I feel like I'm pushing my luck a bit now. I think that's all right. Time to finally enjoy this meal and get to bed. It's pretty late now. It took ages to cook that. Slap it in. Bon appetito. Mm. Look at that. All clean plates. Not my finest meal. Smash down three wraps. And now I've just got to pray to the food gods that that don't want to come out in a hurry tonight because if it does, 
This video is taking a massive turn for the worst. And now we just need to turn this kitchen lounge area into a nice bit of sleeping accommodation. Look at that. So sleeping setup tonight, obviously you've got a sleeping bag, inflatable pillow, inflatable mattress, and just on a bit of old insulation here as well. Just gonna get the final window covers up and we're good to go. Half 11, turned into quite a late one in the end. I'm gonna jump into bed, have a nice cozy night in the back of the car, and then get up for a nice early morning cold water dip. Nicely boxed in. Hopefully we get a nice quiet night. Got the dryer over there to throw over me if I'm a bit cold in the night. Got a hat there if I need it for my head. Also got that there as well if I need it. Hopefully not. It's working quite nice as a little lamp at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty cold. We've got a frost inside the car already. So hopefully it's not too bad night. Been frozen in. <laughs> oh, I need a piss. Oh, there you go. I don't know how well this is going to work, a little bit like the cooker last night, I guess. Right, there we go. Now we're cooking. So last night was actually borderline uncomfortable. Slept for about six hours. I didn't wear this to sleep in. I just had hoodie, body warmer, t-shirt, and then obviously sleeping bag. I did have the dry robe over me uh, throughout the night, but that came off. Yeah, not the most comfortable night's sleep. And now the next challenge is this, which is completely bloody iced over. There has been a kayaker down here this morning, so I'm not the only completely mad one. And he's broken all the ice for me, which is handy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get in and out of this. I'll be able to get in, but I don't know if I'll be able to get out after. Oh, bloody hell yeah. That's some good bloody ice. This morning I think it's about minus three or four degrees. So that water is gonna be hovering around a sort of zero degrees, maybe a bit under. Well, I guess it can't physically be under zero if I'm sitting in water, but it's gonna be bloody cold. That's all I know. Coffee's already in brew when I get out. <laughs> Got the car ticket over. I'm all changed. No more stalling. Let's get amongst it. I don't actually know how cold this is going to feel because I've been cold pretty much all night anyway, so we'll soon find out. Feet are already pretty cold. Oh, bloody hell. Here we go. Two minutes is definitely going to be our max today. I can tell you that for free. Come on then. Let's bloody have you. Oh, that is not warm. Oh. Yeah. I'm frozen again from that bloke. Right, timer starting. Oh. Now. Oh. Seconds. Let's go. Woo. Oh, that is cold. My feet, bloody hell. Oh, smells a bit ducky in here as well. Oh, let's keep it moving. Oh, oh, oh. 
God, yeah. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a minute. Halfway. The first half, well, the worst half is done. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, my blood is literally, feels like it's freezing. Woo! Bloody hell. Nice and pink. Woo! Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, I can't really relax in here. Oh. Ten seconds, baby. Oh. Ah. Woo Time done. Oh. Bloody hell. Let's get out of there, man. Oh. Can I even step up? That's the question. Let's get a big lunge. Bloody hell. Oh. Oh. Pretty stiff, no messing around. I'm getting changed, gonna sink that coffee, get straight back on home. Oh, I couldn't really relax on that. I think because it's by myself and I, I don't know, I felt a bit nervous, I don't know, maybe. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that little camp out and wild swim slash ice bath. Let's get this coffee going. Oh yeah, baby. Have fun, stay bloody young, baby. You!